Hello everybody, you're all very welcome back. Next installment. So, this time, keeping it funky around the house, I went into the utility room and um, I found this thing in there. So I normally keep my recycled bottles in here, so I took out a few bottles and I'll be using them again. But this thing's got a really nice sound to it, so if I play it, Get a couple of different sounds. Going to the front, top, sides. So I like that. I'm going to use that as my basis. Really good to play. You can play with your hands, or you can use your your drumsticks, whichever you have to do. Okay. So also, like I said, I took some bottles out of there. Right. So I'm going to use my metal wooden spoon here. I'm going to use that. Different sound out of it. Okay, I might use one or two bottles because I want a contrasting sound. This got to give me a higher pitch. Okay, maybe even three bottles, we'll see. So we'll use those guys. Now, also, uh, inadvertently, some pastor cell bite chickpeas have wound up in my recycle bin, also. So, these guys are discarded properly and we've recycled the glass. These guys are really useful as a shaker. You can really get a nice sound out of these guys. You can add a real nice ambiance to the whole thing. Or I can shake them like this. The secret is not to have too many in there. Now, however, if I want a more fuller kind of raspy kind of sound, I can load it up. These going out of the chickpeas. Nice you use that, that could work with you well as well. And maybe if I need a bit more space, a few lentils. So with these couple of things, we're going to layer in, we're going to make a couple of really cool sounds with them. Okay. So remember, get your videos into us, have a go. You can use many different things. Okay. Always be safe. Never use anything sharp or anything really breakable. Okay. And um, again, make it funky. So see you in a minute.